and I'll move on to cart number two. Gentlemen, how are you? Hello. Um, a very basic thing. Why did you choose to not include the front wheel? Um, Leonardo probably had several thoughts. I just wanted to be specific, follow one, and make sure that this thing runs down a track. So can you turn? Oh, yes, now I can turn. Absolutely. How does it turn? Well, we'd have to loosen this up, and then uh, we have a little thing that we didn't put on here. We put it on top of that. Flash is always the big sugar coater. You know, he may not be a professional woodworker, but he can have a, a job being a professional sweet talker if he wants. But it's actually in solid mode right now because we're going to go straight down a track. Now, as far as running down a track, I'll see that later. Mm -hmm. And for now, I'm judging based on aesthetics and not performance. Could you run through your version of how it works? The only difference between ours and theirs is uh, we have three sets of springs of 50 feet apiece. You mean three within each? Six mm -hmm. total springs, Six each total 50 springs. feet long. Tell me about the look in terms of the stain. I tried to make it give the feeling of uh, the day when Leonardo was making it, not something that was laser cut, but rather something that was handmade. And here you have a little bit of a license plate that says Da Vinci over this Of course, side. well, yeah. I know that Leonardo would have approached it with a big sense of humor. And I know that he would have loved the competition. He would have loved the fun of getting together to do this. We do have a winner, and to me, it's the difference between 51 points and 49 points. Um, yours has more soul, but yours is, is closer to the soul of what he meant. And so I'd like to give the award to, to this team. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. One point. We didn't look like the pitcher. The other guys did. I mean, they had the fourth wheel and everything. We just had what we had. But I like the doctor's assessment. Our cart had more soul. For the next test, let's get these things out to the racetrack and see which one goes faster. Next, the race is on. All we got to do is wind it up, let it go, and we just beat them. But will one cart even make it to the starting line? Uh oh When doing Da Vinci returns... One part of this competition is that we're going to see how the self-propelled carts from the two teams actually perform on the track. And even though Leonardo couldn't have imagined a race like this, we sure can. And this will be an easy part of the judgment. We're here on race day. Uh, we're just about ready. All we got to do is wind it up, let it go, and we just beat them. I think they're scared. All I could say right now is we're going to win. Number right. one here. Number one. It better work. We want a race. Oh, you're going to get a race. <laughs> he didn't. You <laughs> freak. <laughs> what happened? Somehow grease got on the handle of this. Look at this. <laughs> but I'm not here to lose. Maybe Val is. Maybe that's what he is. But not me. All right, gentlemen. Crank your engines. I think we're at 20. It gets really kind of tough around 60. Well, there we were, cranking the thing up for the first uh, race, and we didn't really get a good count on it. How much further do you want to go? And we kept going. It felt a little easier, so we thought, well, maybe we're not that high up yet. I think the uh, things are right. Maybe because the climb. Uh oh broke one. Oh, well. <laughs> it went pow and, and snapped, and it was like, oh. The judge needs an update. Uh, they might have popped a spring. It sounded like it popped a oh, spring. Oh, yeah, we did. So we definitely overcranked it. It probably broke somewhere by the axle. So that meant right away we have half the power that we intended to use. How do you want to go ahead? Let's just run it. So you think you can run it like this? Yeah, sure. It's still got a spring in it. I guess we'll run it on one. And if one spring beat them, you'd feel pretty good, wouldn't you? I'm sorry that they broke something or whatever. Maybe that's just poor craftsmanship on his part. <laughs> Are you ready on the left side? Ready. Are you ready on the right side? You got ready. it. This was really a fun race. You know, Jurgen and, and Val, they got off to a faster start. Flash and, and Bill's machine took over and won. What a great race.
That was awesome. Guys, with one spring, you should feel pretty great. Well, yeah. Well, we I mean, still got front of it. I would say that's not too bad. I don't like him. Well, yeah, but we're still about 20 feet oh, from you. Oz performed perfect, perfectly, just amazingly so. When I rate what happened in the track test, clearly you guys are the winners, and way to go, guys. But, but there's more. You guys clearly had one that could go farther. And also, you have something that makes yours much more authentic than theirs, which is that your spring broke and the thing didn't work. And that is what happened to most of Leonardo's machines. In his life, he tried to build something, it fell apart, and he was famous for what people would call failures of things not working. And I think that one thing that's come through to me is that every single person here really cares about the integrity of their work. It is so close that I've decided that in picking the overall winner, there's no way that I can say that either one of you deserves it. And I've decided I'm going to take it myself. <laughs> Good job, guys. Great, great job. Thank you. Good job. Good job. OK, guys. Thank you. It's a draw. I mean, the, the reality of the situation is, is that they brought in Frank to do the mechanism work because, oh, there they go. You know what, good guys? Job. Good job. Yeah. Good, good job. job. Good job. It was fun. Great to see you. Great to see you. Good job. All three of us, we came here to do one thing, and that was win. And yes, Frankie came through for us in the long run. Why, I even, I kissed him on the cheek. I love Frankie. <laughs> and no love for me. <laughs> I think that uh, we did a good job. What are you going to do? I still look at it like we won two out of three. Looks and distance, you know, but what are you going to do? So, Doc, you want to go for a ride? Let's go. We can give you a ride. For a ride. I'd love a ride. The last thing, I mean, who knew who the winner was? Doc won, and he got to ride off into the sunset on the cart.